अपना कोर्स गेट स्मार्ट गेट अहेड Hi my name is Kubeer Kapoor and I'm here to deliver the LT course that is for planning FBD planning right this course is brought to you by Apna course in association with Mobile Com Technologies India Private Limited uh, in this course we are going to have various chapters the first chapter is about the introduction to the planning process that is we are going to discuss that what are the steps that are required for the planning and then the second chapter that is all about the air interface LT air interface then third chapter is about the lt link budget that is we are going to estimate that how many number of sites are required according to coverage and capacity and then the fourth chapter is about the lt capacity planning then fifth chapter is about the initial parameter planning and the last chapter that is sixth chapter is about the operational parameters so we are going to start with the very first chapter that is about the introduction to the planning process right so let's start here okay so in this chapter basically before i start i would like to tell you i would like to introduce my company this is my company i represent that is mobile com technologies and we are spread all over the world which are with our headquarters in usa right and then okay this is the these are the list of, of these are the list of the topics that we are going to cover in this particular chapter that first topic is about the radio network design goals that is whenever i am designing the radio network so what should be my initial goals that is we are going to discuss in this particular topic and then planning inputs and outputs in planning inputs and output that is uh, what are the inputs required when we are doing the dimensioning dimensioning mean that when we are doing that mean when we are figuring out that how many number of sites are required according to coverage and capacity so for that we required various inputs so what are those inputs that we are going to study and according to that applied inputs what are the outputs we get then lt planning process that is lt ran planning process in this particular topic we are going to discuss about that the planning process consists of various steps right mainly it consists of the initial step then detailed step and then optimization so we are going to discuss that what is there what is involved in each of the step then qs requirements in this chapter because for every service there is a different quality like for example if you talk about the real time services that is voice so the quality would be different for that and if you talk about non real time services like is data so the quality would be different for that so we are going to discuss about the quality of service requirements also then engineering requirements that is basically tells you that the what are the smartphones available in for the lte okay so let's start with the very first topic that is about the radio network design goals so radio network design goals here okay now basically whenever i am designing my radio network what should be my initial goal what should be my initial requirements right my initial requirement would be to have coverage capacity and quality be it any planning whether you are going for 2g planning 3g planning or lt planning right the requirement the initial requirement would be same that is to have the coverage quality and capacity now to have these particular thing that is coverage capacity and quality what is required what we have to do we have to do the planning right and planning of what planning of assigning the frequencies transmitter locations power parameters so all these particular things are required to have acceptable coverage right quality and capacity right so what do you understand by coverage coverage is basically the signal strength right and on the other hand capacity capacity is basically the required number of users so depending on the required number of users we design coverage and capacity right so first goal is to ensure the coverage that is acceptable coverage quality and capacity then another goal is to manage the intercell interference because in lte we are going to use frequency reuse one that means we are going to deploy same frequency in across all the cells right so this is going to create interference especially at the cell edge right so this kind of interference is called as intercell interference right so there are various things in which we can reduce the intercell interference like for example by down tilting of the antennas between the two or more cells right so in this way we can reduce the overlap region between the two particular cells or two or more cells then we can do we can increase or decrease the height of the antennas 
In this way also we can reduce the intercell interference. And then are, there are various several methods to reduce the intercell interference. That is one of the method is called as ICIC, that is intercell interference coordination. So this intercell interference coordination basically restricts the inode B to schedule those number of PRBs which are highly interfered, right? So this could also help in reducing the intercell interference. But nevertheless, the interference cannot be removed. But yes, by using these particular ways, we can reduce the interference. Then the last step is to manage the customer complaints. That is whatever the customer complaints we are getting, we have to manage that. So according to, to have all this, we have, if we do all this particular thing in a particular manner, we can have cost effective radio frequency network design. Right. So this is about the radio network design goals. Apna course. Get smart. Get ahead.